Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about decompose a composite function into its component functions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So we're given this function, f of x equals the square root of 5 minus x squared, and we want to write this as the composition of two functions. Okay. Now the thing is, there's many ways that we can do this. Right? There's many different possibilities for writing this as a comp composition of two functions. So what we're trying to find here is where f of x equals some, let's say, g of h of x. Okay. So we're going to try to break it down to two functions, g of h of x and g of x and h of x, that gives us this f of x. Okay? So the few ways we can go about it. Let's go, let's say, let's, h of x is on the inside. So we say h of x. I can look on the inside here and say, okay, h of x is going to be this inside part, which is just 5 minus x squared. Well, if that's the case, then I can say g of x is the square root part, square root part of just x. And so what that kind of shows is say, okay, remember this h of x is going to plug in here for that x, and we would get f of x. So we can check that to see if we did it right. g of h of x is, all right, well, what's g of x? g of x, we said, is the square root of whatever h of x is. Well, what's h of x? We say it was 5 minus x squared. Is that g of h of x here? Is that equal to what we said f of x was? And that is correct. Okay? There's other ways that, again, you can go about this, but this is one possible way of really breaking it down. It really comes with practice. The check helps a lot, this check here just to make sure if you did it correctly. Uh, but just like spitball some other things out here, hypothetically, you could have said, you know, another option here, and said, okay, h of x. What if h of x is just x squared, and g of x is the square root of 5 minus x? So, g of h of, let's do that, x here, is, well, g of x is 5 minus x, and we said, or, yeah, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, 5 minus x, put a space there, we put h of x there, h of x is x squared. Same thing. So there's many ways, this is like the first example, there's many ways that you can find these composite functions and break it up, and it's not really always a one specific right answer there, but hopefully this helped you see that. If you learned how to uh, com decompose a composite function into its component functions, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. <laughs> this helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com